At one time, I was like many of you. I cringed at the word Section 8. Ew, Section 8? But how wrong I was. Section 8 is, and I say this for real, an absolute goldmine. And the best part is you're providing a service that people who need Section 8 love. It's nearly free housing for so many families across America. Now with high interest rates and this crazy housing market, Section 8 is one of the best ways to get stable cash flow and guaranteed income. Over the last few months, I've been trying to find my own Section 8 properties to buy and hold personally. But what are the best cities? That's the biggest question that people have when they get into Section 8 rentals, and I have finally figured it out. There's a lot of information that I didn't know a couple months ago that I do now, so I want to get all this information to you completely free. But before I show you how to find these cities and what the best cities are, please like and subscribe to my channel. So there's two main things that help me decide if a market is gonna be great for Section 8 rentals. Those two things are the median home price and the fair market rents that Section 8 is willing to pay. So pretty much if you can find a city where you can buy houses from $65 to $85,000 but rent them out for $1,000, $1,100, $1,200 a month, that is gonna be a huge arbitrage and you wanna find that in multiple different cities and those cities are gonna be great for Section 8 rentals. So the two things we look for is median home price and average fair market rent. So number one is the median home price. The way you can get the median home price is by going to Zillow, typing in the median home value in your city. For example, the median home value in Cleveland, Ohio is $109,000. That means that for all homes purchased that month, the near average is $109,000. Now we wanna see what those houses in Cleveland, Ohio will rent out for on the Section 8 program. Now, the way to do this is to find the county that the city belongs in. So Cleveland, Ohio is in Cuyahoga County. So now that you know what the county is, you'll go and Google that county's fair market rents. And when you do that in Cuyahoga, you'll find a website called CMHA, which is Cuyahoga Fair Market Rent Calculator, which is pretty much the Section 8 rental program in Cuyahoga County. And when you do that, and when you find out that three bedroom, one bath house can rent out for $1,400 a month, and when you take that $1,400 a month rent with $109,000 purchase price, that gives you a 15% return on your money. Keep in mind that Section 8 will not pay 100% of the fair market rent. They'll pay anything from 75 to typically 85%. But there's no real formula for calculating it. So you wanna just take the fair market rent and times it by 75 to 85%. That's what we found in the Midwest. And the reason why this is important is because it's really gonna screw up your numbers if you're budgeting for 100% of fair market rents. So don't use 100% fair market rents because your numbers are gonna look ridiculous and that's not gonna be what actually happens. So Section 8 program for every single city and county has a different pay rate that they pay for three bedrooms, two bedrooms, four bedrooms, five bedrooms for all these houses. But across the board in the Midwest, I found that most Section 8 programs pay anything from $1,000 a month for a three bedroom all the way up to $1,600 a month for a three bedroom. Okay, now let's go find the cheapest cities in the Midwest where you can buy houses dirt cheap, $65,000, $75,000, $85,000, rent them out for $1,200 a month, and that's where the arbitrage is. It's finding where we can find the cheapest housing but has the highest highest Section 8 rents. These Section 8 houses that you're buying cannot be in really, really rough neighborhoods or really, really high crime neighborhoods. You want to stay away from those areas. It's finding cheap, affordable housing that is in good neighborhoods with low crime, close to jobs. Now that you know the process, you can repeat these steps for any city across America and you want to find which of the cities across America have the best rental arbitrage between fair market rents and median home price. So the next step is to look for property management companies on Google and cold call and ask if they have experience with Section 8 rentals. If they know how to manage them, how many Section 8 rentals that they currently manage, you really want to spend a lot of time trying to find a good property management company. So try to find a property manager with a good relationship with the Section 8 local authorities. This is really going to help you pass your inspections and also get the highest fair market rents. You're probably gonna have to call 10 or 20 companies, but I would just hit the phones and the first question, hey, how many Section 8 rentals do you manage? And if they have a couple hundred or even a thousand or 2000, those property managers are gonna have a really, really good relationship with the Section 8 local authorities. And those are gonna be some property managers you'll wanna work with. So now that you found a great property management company, I want you to go out there and start looking for deals. So I want you to go on Zillow and Redfin and find properties that are within the 65 to $85,000 price range that are listed for sale. And I want you to be able to rent those properties out for anything from 900 bucks a month to $1,400 a month. Run the numbers on those houses and find houses that are ready to go, that are move in ready. And I want you to be able to buy those houses with financing up front, get long term, 30 year term, 30 year amortization debt on those houses from six to 7% interest. And I want you at the end of the day to be making anything from a 10 to 20% return on your money. 
And it's super important to loop in your property management company because you want them to also be comfortable with the neighborhood that you're investing in. You want them to have experience in that neighborhood, experience using the Section 8 authority program in that neighborhood as well. And you wanna make sure that your property manager agrees with you going out there and buying this property because that's gonna be the best sign. If a property manager local to the area grew up there is okay with managing your property, that's a great sign. And I'm not just telling you this, this is the exact same strategy that I use to go out there and find the best cities for the Section 8 program. And now what my team has done is we've taken this information and gone throughout the entire Midwest and found a couple amazing cities for the Section 8 rental program. Number two on this list is Cleveland, Ohio. And this should come as no surprise as our math example that Section 8 in Cleveland is absolutely fantastic. In Cleveland right now, you can find deals on houses for seventy dollars to $80,000 in the right areas that could rent out on Section 8 from $1,100 a month to $1,400 a month, depending on the bedroom count. The best part about this is that Cleveland is a fantastic place to rent. Their population decline has slowed to just about even, and there are developing areas that are going to be great for the future of the city. The Cleveland real estate market has also been appreciating like crazy over the last Last couple of years. So not only are you going to get great cash flow by renting out these houses on Section 8, you're also going to get fantastic appreciation for the years to come. Cleveland Clinic also has their headquarters in Cleveland, and they are always dumping billions and billions of dollars on improving the roads and infrastructure and building new office space and hospitals. So Cleveland Clinic is a huge proponent to the growth in Cleveland, Ohio. So number one on my list is Detroit, Michigan. And if we're talking about pure cash flow deals, nothing compares to Detroit, Michigan right now. There are lots of neighborhoods that you can invest in for Section 8 rentals that are right next to great, fantastic areas. Even today, in 2022, you can go and buy a single family house from 65 k to $80,000, and you can rent it out on Section 8 program from $1,200 a month to $1,300 a month. The numbers are absolutely mind boggling. And there's also a really, really strong need for Section 8 rentals in Detroit because 30% of the families fall below the 30% income line. Right now, there's really no deal like Section 8 rentals in Detroit. So what does this all mean? You shouldn't be scared of Section 8 rentals. You shouldn't be scared to go and buy houses on the Section 8 rental program. And there's lots of great cities where the Section 8 rental program works tremendously. And there's no other deals or ROIs like it out there today. Especially with the interest rates on the rise, it's harder and harder to find great cash flowing rental properties. But the Section 8 program can be a solution for you if you're willing to look for it and find the right property manager that can manage those Section 8 rentals for you. 